what's up so it's been a long time since i made a video um because i usually only make videos when i'm doing something when i'm going somewhere and i was i was gonna make a video uh two weeks ago during the holiday in january january 12th or whatever but it was supposed to be a ski trip video and I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, I'm going skiing for the first time. I'm so happy. Ah! And then it was windy at the resort that day and the ski trip was cancelled. And I only found out like five minutes before I was supposed to go on the bus. So that was disappointing. So yeah. That's why I have if I don't do anything, my life is boring. All I do is work. I'm not gonna make a video. I'm not gonna be one of these weird YouTubers who find not, e not even YouTubers, but vloggers in Japan who tries to find something strange to video, like new flavor, this or that, or strange food. I'm not going to do that. I only vlog when I have something to say and do. So because I'm cooking, and I like to make cooking videos because I think it helps a lot of people who don't know how to cook. Like, you know, those recent graduates who come to Japan and have no idea how to take care of themselves. I'm making a cooking video to help you. And if I look a little ashy, <laughs> sorry, it's the lighting, but whatever. So today, I'm just going to cook, and I'm also going to just update you a little on what's going on. So yeah, nothing much. Um, what I'm cooking, I'm actually cooking uh, baked salmon. So first I have to, you see the scales here? The salmon comes with scales, so I have to take that off. So while I'm doing that, I'll just give you an update. Update number one. So, I haven't mentioned this before in other videos, well, slightly, talking about how this year was supposed to be my last year in Japan and how I was considering leaving because all kinds of reasons, but I've changed my mind. <laughs> um, you see, the, the end goal when I leave Japan is not to go back to Jamaica because the career I'm educated for, it really, it's... It, it's not one that makes sense you live in Jamaica for, to be honest. It's, envir it's in the environmental field. And I don't want to say Jamaicans don't care about that, but there aren't many jobs available for that. So I'm actually really good at teaching. I should stick to teaching. That's what my mother says. But I don't know. I don't know. I did two degrees in this thing, environmental thing. So I should really stick to it, if you know what I mean. So... The goal is to move somewhere else. So I need somewhere to move to, but you know, if you move to another country, you need a lot of money, startup fee. I'm thinking about moving to Canada and that, if I do that, I have to, it's a complicated process and eh, I'd need like a million dollars, over a million dollars to do it. So I haven't saved that much yet. <laughs> So that's one of the reasons. The other reasons why is just my spirit wasn't ready to leave. My spirit really wasn't ready to leave Japan. I don't know. I just got very sad when I thought about leaving. I was like, okay, so I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave. So that's it. I'll be spending another wonderful year here in Japan, surrounded by people I love and appreciate. Not many people. I'm talking mostly about the teachers I work with and my students. I don't have many friends here. I do, but they live far away, but I'm black, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Anyways, so that's one update. The other update is I'm going to Okinawa in March. So that should be a fun trip. I'll definitely vlog that. Um, let me pause because I have to show you the salmon, how to do the salmon. One second. All right. So you heard me cutting away. This For this recipe, it's very simple. I just take. I bought this salmon, they're very cheap, like 250 yen. Um, I take one and I put green pepper with it and onion. And it's also, can you see the garlic? So seasoned with garlic and salt. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it in a little burrito and then pop that in my microwave, not microwave oven, toaster oven to bake. So yeah, that's what I'm cooking. I'm making baked salmon and it's a really delicious recipe. So if you don't know how to cook, you'll enjoy it. So that was one. Uh, yeah, so I'm staying another year in Japan. I'm cooking salmon, teaching you how to cook salmon today. Um, 
the school year is basically over. I taught my last class um, an hour ago at night school. So, well, not basically. I don't think I have any more classes. I haven't seen any on my schedule. I think I just have to mark exam essays, and that's it for me. Um, if you didn't know, in Japan, graduation day is March 1, and that's next week, Thursday, basically. So I'm going to be super sad because the graduating class, I've had them since I've been in Japan. So when I arrived in Japan, they were first graders, and I taught them for three years, and <laughs> at last year I was sad. But this year I'm just extra sad. I'm just thinking about it makes me sad. I I get very attached to people. I get very attached. I don't, I don't want to see my kids go away. I don't want to see them go. I don't want to see them grow up. But they have to grow up. They have to be free. They have to grow. As young adults. <sighs> but I'm very happy for them. So basically school, there's nothing much going on at school. Um, my part-time job is busy as usual, and that's why I don't really go anywhere. Because <laughs> I work, I basically work six days a week. <laughs> my only free day is Sunday. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? But I have to work. I have to work to be able to save and then foil. I have to work to be able to save and move on to the next chapter in life. So, you gotta work hard. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is doing a video about how to save money in Japan. I mean, it seems like such a basic concept and, and sounds easy enough, but I see the spending habits of some people, some foreigners who are here, and I'm just like, how are you not poor? <laughs> or they probably are poor and just, you know, don't admit it, I don't know. I mean, it really shouldn't be any of my business what people spend their money on. But it's incredible what people are spending their money on and kind of ill-advised. So I, I really actually want to do a video about how to help people, especially Jamaicans. Because if you're a Jamaican, it's easier for you to save money than, say, an American or someone from the UK. Because the yen is weaker than the pound sterling and the US dollar. So that's good. If you're Jamaican, because then when you're sending yen home, or if you're trying to save, you're actually saving more. And you're making way more than you would have been making in Jamaica anyways. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to do a video on how to save money, because I think that's important. And a lot of people just have no idea how to do that whatsoever. I feel like I've done a vlog with this sweater on before. Like last year. Who cares? So yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do, um, I think, I don't know, something to do. I also need to file my tax return and get a little money back in March. <laughs> I need to file that soon as possible. But yeah, for the next month, everything should be chill and then I go to Okinawa at the end of March. And I'm really looking forward to that and I hope nothing happens because I was... I was really sad that the ski trip was cancelled, but I think my mother worked voodoo magic to do that because I was going on the ski trip by myself because my friends don't live in the Kansai region, so no one wanted to go with me. So, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I was gonna go by myself, and my mommy was like, No, you can't go by yourself. You're gonna fall down and broke something. So I was like, Okay. <laughs> so when that got cancelled I was like okay everything happens for a reason so whatever fine um so I'm really excited for this Okinawa trip and I hope there are no problems with that whatsoever um small break I smell my hand because it smells like it smells like salmon salmon stinks actually I washed it with soap all right so let me just show you the salmon burrito here they are Okay, don't judge me in my tray. Okay, I washed, I don't know, I don't know, it's like baked on grease or whatever and it can't be clean. So these are the salmon burritos. <laughs> they're not burritos, I just call them burritos because they're wrapped in foil. So I'm going to pop this into the toaster oven, my toaster oven over here. Which is really grungy. Gross, Lydia. Um, yes, sorry about the lighting. That light 
has blown like three weeks now and I called Leah Palace and I said it's not insured under my rent agreement so if I want to get it fixed I will have to pay someone to come and fix it and I'm not about that life so that's just gonna stay like that until I fix it but I'm short so I don't wanna anyways rambling so I'm gonna turn my toaster oven on the highest one and then I'm gonna turn this to the maximum like 15 minutes but for this recipe and it is so dirty for this recipe I'm just gonna it's gonna stay like this 15 minutes and turn it for another 15 minutes and then half of that that's the best estimate for how long it should stay in there I'm sorry because I'm using a toaster oven so if you use something else the setting would be different but basically I leave these in to bake for maybe like 40 minutes 30 to 40 minutes basically okay so now i'm just holding up my camera waiting for this food to hurry up and cook the light here is too blinding um what else is new i saw the greatest showman and that is just a magnificent movie the music is incredible i have the soundtrack now and i just keep listening to it over and over and over and over again so it just got to Japan and I watched it in the theater and I'm so happy I went. It was amazing. Um, what else? What else? Like I said, I don't go anywhere. That was the first time I went out to do something entertaining in like weeks. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. So in like two weeks after school closes officially, they're, the government of Japan does this thing where they just relocate teachers. They give them two weeks notice and they just switch schools, which I hate. And I'm not looking forward to. And that's like one of the things I hate the most in Japan because my teachers leave me and I just, I don't like change. I really don't like change. So I'm not looking forward to that. But I am looking forward to the new school year and starting with... My food is ready! But before I get to that, I'm looking forward to the start of the new school year and I hope, I hope my company gets the contract for here again because what happens in Japan, well not, what happens with my company is they have to get the contract, they have to apply and get the contract every year. So if they don't get the contract then I'm screwed. But usually they get the contract. So hopefully no idiot teacher somewhere did something completely bad and that caused the rest of us to lose our contract and hopefully our bid is the lowest one, the cheapest option. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just very worried. But my, I really hope that I get to stay at the school I'm at now and where I am and nothing changes for this year. So for the next month, I have to worry about that. Because I won't find out until like March 22nd or something. So that's that's a big worry for me and a headache. But by the, by the time I get to Okinawa, I should know if everything's okay. <laughs> Basically. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Anyways, the time! So I was wrong. This definitely took less than 20 minutes. Not less than 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. So less than 40. So let's see. Ooh, look at that. Look at the steam. Ooh. So I have vegetables prepared. I did some carrots and lettuce and rice. I love rice, especially Japanese rice. So I'm just going to put this on. Nom, 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 nom. So, so here we go. That's dinner. Look how good it looks. Oh my gosh. I'm such a good cook. Rice. I love lots of rice. And over here... Because school is finished, because they have exams, no more cafeteria food, so I have to bring bento, which I normally do anyways. So that's my lunch for tomorrow. I could never be a Japanese wife, because my bento doesn't look cute. It just looks like there's a food. But anyways, yeah, that's the food. And it's so quick and easy, and cleaning up is great, because you just fold up the foil and throw it away, <laughs> basically. And it's so nice. It tastes so good. So, yeah, that's the end of my vlog. I hope you enjoyed, you know, listening to me ramble. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the quick recipe. It's so easy. So if you don't know how to cook, seriously, all you need is a toaster oven and just pop it in. 
And yeah, that's one of the other things. If you're moving to Japan, I do recommend that one of the appliances you buy um, is a toaster oven. Because you can bake in it, you can make, you can cook food in it basically. So it's very convenient. And also a rice cooker because uh, I've, rice cookers have just revolutionized my life. Because if you're from Jamaica, all you do is use a pot and cook rice. And I have burnt rice on so many occasions. So I just love my rice cooker. And I make quick and easy meals in less than 40 minutes. And cleaning up is easy cheesy. So that's it. I'm done. Update. Movie review. Future plans. Till next time. Bye.